Up until the end of the 18th century, those who suffered with mental health issues suffered even more at the hands of those who were caring for them. Insane asylums, as they were called, offered very little to help the patient. These were prison-like places that were often experimental laboratories, and the patients were locked up, chained up, abandoned, and often victims of physical abuse and even torture in the name of medical science. But the dawn of a new day began with a man named Philip Pinel. Now in Montreal, the name Pinel is well known because a large uh, psychiatric institute and hospital uh, bears his name in our metropolis. And Dr. Pinel was educated in theology before he began his medical studies, which greatly influenced the way he would later work with these mentally ill patients. In 1792, Pinel took charge of uh, the Bicetre Hospital and in 95, uh, La Salpetriere, where he wanted to prove his hypothesis that mentally ill patients would improve if they were treated with kindness, consideration, and dignity. Filth, noise, and abuse were eliminated quickly after patients were unchained, provided with sunny rooms with a window, and permitted to exercise freely out on the asylum grounds. They were no longer treated like animals. And Dr. Pinel ended up revolutionizing the way people looked at the mentally ill uh, in his day. And he confirmed and affirmed that the mentally ill could be understood and could be properly taken care of. And his moral treatment, as he called it, uh, of these mentally ill patients is the precursor of uh, our modern psychotherapies. Now, there is still much that is unknown uh, about mental illness, but there have been, there's been so much progress. And because of the efforts of Philippe Pinel, we do have a foundation for how we will treat all peoples who come to receive help in their time of need, even if it's with something that is not very well understood. And for those who are mentally ill, they can today still count on that compassion, respect, and dignity that they so much need in uh, their time of distress. And we've made many advancements as well in the medication side of things with pharmaceuticals that are available. So perhaps if you are suffering with a mental illness issue or you know someone who is, please don't hesitate to seek help. And there is that compassion and help that is available to you.